customer dropped this off to me, local customer. So I got in touch and said, can I uh, sort out his Series X? And this is what I got. <laughs> um, so he bought it, I think. Took it all apart because he wanted to clean it before he used it and then didn't know how to put it back together. So he's asked me to do it. But he also said that there might be issues. Oh, right, okay, now I know. Uh, now I remember. It needs a SATA connector, SATA power connector. No, just a SATA connector. He's broken the SATA connector. So I'm going to have to change that. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. Whether you've got a simple project that requires a quick mod board or you want to launch your own products to the world, PCBWay can help. With fantastic pricing on multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, 3D printing and even laser cutting solutions, you're sure to get everything you need all in one place. Custom PCBs start from just $5 for a 1-2 to two layer board with a fast 24 hour build time and free shipping on orders over $30. PCBWay are also proud to announce their new aluminium PCBs which start at just $120 per square metre. Check out what PCB we have to offer by clicking on the link in the video description or the top pinned comment and get your project started today. Thanks again to PCB Way for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the repair. All right, so before I go much further, I'm just going to put some fresh thermal paste on this. Should break the seals on that. There we are. All right. I'm going to leave that to soak. And soften up. Okay. Doing this isn't absolutely necessary, but I like to clean it as best I can. So I'll just break up the thermal paste with some tweezers. I'm not scratching into the substrate on the APU. I'm just gently breaking up the thermal paste. There we go. Perfect. Plenty of thermal pasta. Put that back on there. <laughs> that was a squeaky fart. And no, I don't care if I fart on a live stream. We all do it, alright? So grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we now need to sort out this south bridge board. So we've got a damaged SATA connector on here. That's going to need to be fixed. <clears throat> Just plug that back in there. Move that out the way. And then I can just drop that back on there ready. There we are. Okay. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of that. And that. We have a very, very sorry looking SATA connector there. So, to remove it, Hover the board over the edge of the table and weigh the board down. And I'm heating up from underneath the board. I've got my hot air at 440, 40% airflow. Ah, I just popped a capacitor. 
There's a capacitor right underneath it and I didn't realise. Well, not a lot I can do about that. Don't worry, I'll take one from a donor board before I finish. Just popped the capacitor. It went kaboom. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, there's nothing you can do about that. You've got two choices. You either melt the shit out of the connector as you're taking it off and putting it on, or you pop a capacitor. Either way, it's one of those. Not a lot you can do. Uh, anyway. That is the joy of working with plastic connectors. We can't put heat on them. But, that being said, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so, just tinned up that area. I'm also going to in where this cap goes like that and then I'm going to grab a duna board I think I'll take that one because that one's not melted there we are there's a replacement cap There we are. It's only a USB cap, but still. Right. Son of a bitch! He got me again. Oh no! God damn it! No! 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 Damn! There it went, yeah. Kind of worried about the caps. There, yeah, it's gone. The cap popped. It doesn't matter. I can change it again.
There you are. And now I need two new caps. Of course I do. There we are. Good, thanks, Quicksum. How are you, mate? Here's the iron. No. You never get a proper connection on it. There you are. Good. Good shit. Ready to rumble. Right. There we are. Let's give it a test. Shall we? First of all, does it turn on? Oh yeah, it turns on. Now, does it take a disc and does it read a disc? What more fitting way to test a console than to use FIFA 20? That's loading. We have one working 20 year anniversary Xbox Series X. Good stuff. I'm going to leave that installing, but obviously I need to give it a full test and stuff, but it should be working absolutely fine, and uh, yeah, happy days. Cash converters. Lovely. Uh, that's probably going to ask me to update. Uh, maybe not. Uh, it's only going to work in 1080p because I'm on a capture card. It recognises 4K, but it doesn't work because of the capture card. But yeah, there we go. It's working. Um, disk drive is loading. Preliminary tests say that it's working. So, yeah. Good stuff. Happy days. I can uh, get paid. Because <laughs> that's the main thing, right? Get paid for it. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching this back as a video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, all of that good stuff. Um, we save consoles every day. Well, maybe not every day, but yeah. Uh, there we go. Um, that was a bit cringe. Yeah. Thank you all. Take care. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for, thank you all for the support as always. See you all later.